Do you have the combination for your safe but can't remember how to use that dial? We're gonna help you with that today. This is Locksmith Recommended. These are the directions for how to dial in your safe combination. I downloaded these off of our website. I'll put a link to them down below because they are available for you to print off. It's a great guide for when you're standing in front of your safe and you're trying to go through this process. I'm actually going to fill in right here the combination to my safe so I have this guide ready to go. Now today we're talking about opening a safe with a three digit combination, but the directions for a four digit combination are available in this guide. So if you have a four digit combination, again, go take a look at that. Now, the first thing I wanna point out before we get started is the marking that you're going to use when you dial in the combination. You're going to use the mark at the very top of the safe dial. There's another mark on that dial, just ignore that. Now this dial here is by Sergeant Greenleaf. It's one of the most common dials that you'll find on a safe. Now the first thing you're gonna do when you dial in a combination is you need to turn the dial counterclockwise to the left at least four times. And what you're doing is you're resetting the wheels of the lock. Basically in modern terms, you're clearing the cache. Now we actually have a great video that shows you how a safe combination dial works. I'll put a link to that video down below as well because it's really, really interesting. But turn that dial to the left at least four times to reset it. Then make sure you stop on the very first number of your combination, which in this case is 38. Now this is where it starts to get a little tricky. I'm now going to turn the dial to the right or clockwise until my second number, which in this case is four, passes underneath the marking three times. So I land on it the third time it passes underneath that mark. So the number four is gonna go underneath that mark once, the number four is gonna pass underneath that mark again, and the third time it comes underneath that mark, I'm going to stop. Now you're going to spin the dial back again counterclockwise to the left until the third number passes underneath that mark twice, stopping on it that second time. So you're gonna spin it to the left, and the third number, which in my case is 80, goes under the mark once, and the second time I see it, I stop. But we're not done yet. Even though we dialed in the three-digit combination, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is we need to turn the dial back clockwise until it stops on its own, and that is actually retracting the bolt. Check out my video on how combination lock work and you'll see why it is we have to do that. Once it stops, I've retracted the bolt and now my safe can be open. So let's summarize everything. To open a safe with a three digit combination, step number one, spin the dial to the left at least four times and put the first number of the combination right underneath that top index. Step two, spin the dial to the right and have the second number pass underneath the index twice and then stop on it the third time. Step three, spin the dial combination back to the left. Let the third number pass underneath the index once and then land underneath the index the second time. The combination is now dialed in. Turn the dial to the right to retract the bolt. Did that look like a lot of work? That's because those old dials are. Consider upgrading to an electronic EMP rated lock. They're very easy to get into. As simple as that. I'll put a link below. If you like this video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Thanks for watching Locksmith Recommended.